So, uh, I did a talk the other night. Before I did the talk, somebody came over to me and said, I really like your hyper-realistic uh, paintings. And I get that a lot, mm -hmm. you know, forward realism. Type. And I thought it was interesting because it's not really what my work is about at all. <laughs> um, do you remember when you were little, um, uh, your, somebody told you to look up at the clouds in the sky and pick out some animal shapes? I still do that. So, I, I, I never really grew up. <laughs> Good for you. And, and I, I kind of do the same thing now, except that my focus now is on not finding, it's, it's finding magic within reality, you know, hidden uh -huh. within reality, but it's really the abstract magic. So, really, the paintings, although they might be of objects, and things that you might recognize, that really the, the, the focus of the paintings is to find the abstractions within those things. So what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the surface texture, the colors, and the, uh, the play of the negative and positive spaces, and the, uh, the shapes, and, and kind of that's what I'm painting. In, so that the painting, where it's most successful, like this painting, probably a very successful painting, Alan Gorman painting. Um, it, it almost doesn't matter what the source is. You know, maybe derived from a truck, but I, I don't really care about the truck right now. That's not, not my interest. I don't have an affinity for trucks. I thought I did, but not really. <laughs> uh, really what I'm looking at is all this mumbo jumbo over here, or the crisscross of the, uh, the, the, the twin lights, the little X, it's made by the support structure or the reflections and perforations of the exhaust stack in here or the triple images of the mirrors in, in that painting. And the, so basically it becomes more about the uh, interesting uh, aesthetic or the play on what's going on in the thing than the actual thing itself. Except for the Chevy, which I did because I thought I might do a series of cars, but when I look at it kind of, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> but it's not the same. <laughs> so, um, and that's it. I would have liked it better if it was a pink Cadillac. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I like the pink car, but I expect Well, what that. happened is I did, I, it's not here, but I did a painting of a blue Buick ah. that was very successful. And that kind of led to that Pontiac. Uh, oh, we yeah. oh, the Pontiac is great. So I thought maybe I would do a series where, how could I do cars a little differently? And it kind of said, well, maybe I'll just do cars that were influenced by Harley Earl, who was the top designer for General Motors from the 40s through the mid 50s. Um, and when doing it, it's kind of a domain 